Right, so this is um, what I reckon will be the final episode of, of me showing these orchestral sketches for the Gratitude concert. Uh, the sketches that we're going to use to build the final uh, concert. So we're at day 14 and we're going to dive in. And, um, and day 14 is, uh, is, is a substantial one. They all are, but in, in there is a, a lot of material to cover in that this is a sort of, you know, this was the opera singer, you know, uh, who was suffering from Lyme disease and multi uh, um, multisystemic infectious disease. And, um, and, um, and she's this golden thread that hovers above it all, you know. The, um, you know, I was, um, <clears throat> I was told that, um, that I could share this, that, listen to this, this, how dramatic this is, you know. So, Beth writes, Veldman, that, that is the, the case of this, um, part of the concert. Um, she was, she, she is an opera singer and she was working as one before she was ill and, and the video that I shared in the live sessions of her singing Mahler, um, she was standing on, uh, I believe, the gallery of the hall, the music hall, and singing this aria. This is actually the night on that video. I'll, I'll make sure to link to it. That night was actually the night that she collapsed. So what happens is that that is the last time she performed um, in that video. She's singing that aria, and it's... And it's it's menacingly beautiful. And what we don't know is that after that aria, after when she finished singing this thing, she collapses. And, and, and no one notices. So the, the, the symphony orchestra and everyone just keeps going with the concert. And she lies there on the floor of the gallery for an hour while the concert continues and in the end, it's finished, and the musicians are applauded, and and she lies there, on on the floor, from where she last stood and sang the aria, and she manages after the concert is over, um, because the technical personnel personnel were done for the day, so they they didn't they didn't check it up there, so she she would gather her strength and sort of climb out and get out of there. Isn't that wild? Uh, that video is literally her last performance, and she collapses immediately thereafter, and the music, the show goes on without her, and she just lies there on the floor, listening. What an experience. So, so she's this golden thread that listens to everything, you know, that goes on. She listens to the world, she lies there, and she he hears it all, and, and she flows in between everything, and, um, revisits a lot of the themes, a lot of the things. So this is going to be about, you know, rekindling a lot of the themes and revisiting them, but also investigating and coming up with a new idea, the golden thread. Let's just listen to it here, just in the piano. So that was um, when we realized that, you know, playing the piano, that we needed to just revisit the themes, as, as you heard. And it says, visit themes with mercy. So that is what she does, you know, visits these themes that we 
have found so far the excavations with mercy. And we come into the golden thread motif uh, here on the organ. Let's listen. And what I meant to say before was distant, you know, that there is something, sorry for interrupting, but there is something in this thing here where, you know, it's, it's like everything is covered, you know, and, and everything is flooded and, and you have this distant voice, the golden thread that comes and visits everything, you know, and brings new life to it it's a, through its awareness of it. It's aware. It's aware of you, it's aware of me, of our family and friends, and um, and that's what it does, the golden thread. So that is a golden thread motif. And then um, it comes in and visits the ox and the birds. And I've written here um, potential prelude, you know, or intro that um, maybe this could be the beginning of the whole thing or something close to it. Um, it sort of has a potential to do that. Let's listen and see if you agree if this could, could start the thing. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, and so, yeah, I have a feeling that it sort of 
You know, there was something there that, um, encapsulates all of it, that sort of just holds all of it. Um, but, uh, yeah, if, you, if you've seen all of it, and, uh, or some of it, and, and have that same feeling, please let me know. Um, maybe this could be the intro, or maybe shortly after the intro, just setting the stage. This is what it's about, you know. Please let me know if you feel the same way in the comments. And, um, and we have the golden threat motif. That's what we have to work with there. And uh, a powerful, easily recognizable theme um, that can bring us together as recognizable themes do. Okay, and so we have the golden thread meeting Hermes. And so this is because the golden thread is traveling through the world that we created and visiting people and things and... and um, places and and um, and uh, sort of touching these things in its own way and making them uh, rekindled and new uh, and at least at least that that was the idea so here we come into the golden threat meeting Hermes so that's the little boy running to meet time at the top of the mountain <clears throat> so this, this is just thrown in there So this is just the idea, I think, of, of can we take, render the golden thread, this thing that comes down to meet, ba -da 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 -da, da -da 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 -da, down to meet Hermes coming about, -da 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 -da. so they sort of meet and intertwine. She comes down to meet him, maybe come up and give him a hand, maybe put some wings on his feet. You know, that would be Hermes coming up and uh, she's coming down. And so on. And the last stuff is the same thing. And um, then we come into a lament. And I think what we mean by that is probably that that there is, you know, you know, a mourning for all the stuff that is lost and along the way uh, during the flooding of all these things and, and maybe, you know, and there is definitely a, a, a sadness that we need to sort of contain all the time that, uh, that you know, all the years that were lost, all the, all the people who wanted to help but were unable to for one reason or the other. And, um, and, uh, and but it's a joyous lamentation in a way. Uh, it's, it's, it has a sadness, but it's also joyous, like there is a new world appearing. Let's just listen to it.
Right. And it's still the golden thread that is this merciful aspect of the thing um, that is traveling through everything. And here we have golden thread rising above it all. Let's listen. And a theme that I think could work in sort of something new is going to rise out of this thing, you know. Um, something new is going to come out. There is something behind the clouds. And we have a meditation on the golden thread, which is called the golden meditation. And it's a violin. Let's listen. And the golden, golden thread motif continued.
so a little bit typical, you know, typical me <laughs> uh, thing is to always wanted to to go somewhere grandiose, right? So it's just a tendency. You play the theme, and you end it where you feel like this is where it's going to change, launch into something. That's where you end it, and you restrain yourself. I restrain myself. Um, because otherwise everything <laughs> will be like constant uh, uh, launches of uh, spacecrafts into the um, into the uh, above or or below and and so I'm restraining myself constantly uh, towards a finale uh, a complete rendition of all the hope that I have uh, for my life and my partner's life and everyone fighting chronic illness and disability. And uh, this is a suite that we've come into. So let's just listen to it. Golden Thread Suite. So again here we just move around and see what this thing can do um, almost one-to-one -one on the piano. Sometimes you'll see the video drifting uh, and not being synchronized and that is just because I decided to do something else. Uh, of course, than I than I did there. So um, uh, that's just why. So listen to this one, shall we? So that is just visiting all sorts of themes and um, and trying to be a voice of comfort 
the golden thread. Mercy, as stated in the beginning, it revisits the themes with mercy and <clears throat> just trying to stay true to that. Um, uh, there is something there is something in 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 saying, okay, so we have these themes, these ideas, let's introduce them to anger, or let's introduce them to mercy, or let's say someone come, comes in and, and observes them with mercy, like being observed, right? Um, you do something and it's not just now I'm angry or now, now I'm merciful, now I'm fearful, now I'm happy. It's also imagine a crowd that is, that is uh, furious or a crowd that is glowing or um, someone coming in from the side and being merciful. And what does that do to everything around it when there is an element of mercy in the room? So it moves on the golden thread and visits the captain. Uh, let's just for the fun of it, listen to what that was on the piano. darker gradation theme so now she revisits uh paul clee and and uh, the gradation uh, idea let's listen to this one GT solo meditation. Let's take a look. And this is not a gin and tonic solo uh, meditation. This is the golden thread solo meditation. And the idea here being the first violins and the organ, maybe all of the violins and the organ, playing together in a unison idea. I think the golden thread is going to be in the violins and it's going to be 
because it's going to be hovering above things and it needs access to the organ. And, um, and there is something there in the shimmering highs and I think they can, they can complement each other up there. So that's the idea at least. And then we come into the GT uh, suite, and obviously now it's a joke, you know, that this is the gin and tonic suite, but it isn't. Um, it's the golden thread suite. Um, uh, long live abbreviations, but uh, this is the GT suite, and I've I've done parentheses uh, parentheses uh, rubble, so that means it is revisiting the rubble in the world that is uh, collapsed from what it's done to people with chronic illnesses and disabilities. And now it's rebuilt anew. Let's listen. sweet again, coming in and recollecting a lot of the things we've been developing. And then something happens, a mermaid theme is kindling, coming in and showing its beautiful head. So again, that happened up here, for the fun of it, with the piano. Like that. Okay, so next up is, um, is day 15. The last one, 
and um, and uh, I I included a few extra themes from the Golden Thread here that that um, we're not going to cover right now. These are just also just ideas. You can hear it with those two notes alone that we've we've been there before, and um, and it's a lot of the same thing, just navigating around and and because I want the golden thread to come in and be this this thing moving around like a solo a solo soprano, and coming in, not necessarily in soprano register, but coming in 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 the higher part of the strings at least and being, you know, uh, visiting everything. So this is day. 15. So, so you see a lot of spottings here and a lot of elements on that, that I wanted to condense, um, albeit not a lot, you know, this is all there is from the final day because I felt like we had it all at that, at that, um, at that time. Um, we have the flooding theme kindling, again, the flooding of the wheel, the world that, that we built, we want to flood it and start anew um, from a broken world into something new. Um, and uh, let's listen to what happened here. The flooding theme kindling, so the flooding theme, and when it began. It sounded like this on the piano. Let's listen. this yeah. right and distant something is happening imagine that again and that is what I want to use this thing for um, something is happening something is happening Four dams are breaking, so the idea that on this wheel there are four dams and and they're governed by friends and family and, and they're broken, you know, so the wheel can be flooded and simple motif in chords uh, sound like this. So that will be the dam's breaking, and we're going to use that, of course. Climb through snakes, because there was a snake in paradise, and uh, climbing through that whole thing apparently became... simple idea and then looking at the mountain so as she climbs up the tree uh, soon to be mermaid uh, looks over and sees Hermes running to meet time again just looks over and sees Hermes running almost too obvious to come in there and uh, Hermes and Rage Climb merge into mermaid theme kindling <laughs> so whatever you have to do right to put the wordings up there so you know what you have to deal with right so this is Hermes in a Rage Climb merging into the mermaid theme kindling so the initial idea of the mermaid thing too complex already let's just listen
Right. And plunging into the darkness, that is where she jumps out from the tree and into the waters, flooding the world. That was plunging into darkness and we have the flooding suite. So this is the wheel that is being flooded and the world is washed over so we can start again. And uh, by the way, I'm not trying to start a part of a movement who would encourage the current state of the world to just continue and the world be flooded, obviously. It just so happens to be part of this adventure. So just a disclaimer. Uh, let's try to avoid the pending flooding of the world. This is the flooding uh, uh, suite, albeit.
So that was a longer suite that um, that uh, also tries to, you know, keep a merciful edge on things, and uh, and and at the same time being powerful, the flood coming over things, and um, and in many ways being a conclusion, I think, um, and. Um, and there is something in in those ba da di da 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 di da da waves and that just and I don't know what it is about the ocean that just keeps coming into existence here. Um, maybe it's just that when we start a project with a few basic building blocks, they tend to become uh, part of the 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 grand thing in the end. I don't know, or maybe it's because the ocean has a universal aspect um, and carries that into us in all the tales in which we include it. I don't know, um, but it's definitely rearing its, its, its gorgeous, brutal head uh, a lot towards the end, washing over the wheel. And, um, and then we have the new world, a theme that is the new world rising from the ashes of all this stuff. And let's just listen to what happened in the piano since we came up with something like that. Things are rising in you. I like this sort of pounding. The piano, of course, and I guess that is why so many people write on the piano, is because it allows us to be somewhat expressive, but limits us in that we don't have to be, you know, expressive on the string, like the stringed instruments and stuff like that. It's still a percussion instrument, but, but expressive in dynamics and in the way that you can create resonance in between everything and build a world like that. It, it really is a, an incredible composing instrument. Okay, so, so. But I get the idea, and uh, and let's keep let's keep the piano open on that one, just to make sure that we remember it. Okay, so we're coming into out of the waters, and this is where. The mermaid shows its head in the end after everything is flooded, and um, and let's uh, let's listen to it. So we get that ba di da di da 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 la da. That becomes this um, this theme that well, it reminds me of the songs that that um, that we love, you know.
right. And um, that almost concludes it. This is the last cue um, called Love is All at the End of Things. And, uh, and this is just a little bit of a revisit into, into, I don't know, maybe it's my own condensing of a theme between me and, and, uh, and the girl I love, but the, um, um, but I think it has some sort of, you know, it's not that it's a big theme, it's that it's honest. Let's listen. Like it just sums up the last part of of the the, um, the material <clears throat> and um, and um, concludes things and um, that is actually the last thing we wrote and um, and that is uh, that is it. So what now? That was a walkthrough of all the themes that we had here, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to upload these videos and um, make sure that the document documentation is there, that it's possible after this concert is complete to go back and see how the process was. Because I, for one, uh, miss, you know, have been missing, uh, uh, you know, I've, I've yet to find a composer who, who's been sharing the entire process or as much of it as she's been able to and um, and talking about story. So this is just computer music to show what I imagine. And that is all going to change really soon as we come into the next parts of the process. Um, there are exciting things in wait uh, and I'm looking forward to sharing them with you. And um, and this will end up being performed, you know, written into a concert and performed by a wonderful orchestra. So now this is the middle part of, of uh, the creation of the Gratitude concert. And now I'm going to focus on writing the concert because this is just, you know, the ideas. And of course, things have, have been happening in the background, but I felt I wanted to share this central part uh, of it all and... and um, show this step in the latter towards a finished concert. So that's all for now, and I appreciate you staying here uh, with me. And um, please leave any comments below if there is something in what this is that you want more or less of, and I will try to accommodate this sort of thing. And I hope to see you in the next episodes in whichever part of this process that I might share uh, where I am in, off. Time to end this thing and go in and write, write the concert. Thank you so much and take care.